Let's evaluate this expression. We have 3 fourths quantity squared divided by the quantity 2 thirds plus 5 6. So where should we begin? Well, we would begin by evaluating this expression within the set of parentheses. So let's do that first. That is then 3 fourths squared divided by, now here I'm adding fractions, so I have to have the same denominator. What is the least common denominator? It is 6. So I have 2 thirds. What do I multiply that fraction by? Maybe just concentrate on the denominator. What do I multiply 3 by in order to have a denominator of 6? I multiply by 2, so I've got to multiply by 2 over 2, and then plus 5, 6. So we have 3 fourths squared divided by, this is 4, 6 plus 5, 6. Right? So let's go ahead and continue in this set of fractions. By the way, the next thing we'll do is evaluate this expression, the exponential expression. So if you don't mind, I'm going to put this in parentheses also so I can see what I'm doing here and go ahead and start evaluating the uh, exponential expression. 3 fourths squared, that is 3 fourths times 3 fourths. So keep that in mind divided by, now what is 4, 6 plus 5, 6? That is 9 over 6. Now it's up to you. If you'd like, we can go ahead and simplify now. There's a common factor of 3 in 9 and 6, but at least let's go ahead and evaluate this exponential expression. That's 3 times 3, which is 9 over 4 times 4, which is 16. And as a matter of fact, I'm just going to go ahead and perform this division now. How do we perform division of fractions? We multiply by the reciprocal, so we'll multiply by 6 over 9. And how do we multiply fractions? It's numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator. We can certainly factor out or divide out the common factor of 9 there, and notice 6 and 16 have a common factor of 2. So let me go ahead and write the 9 over, and let me write 6 as 2 times 3, and then 16 I'll write as 2 times 8, just so you can see that common factor of 2. So there's the common factor of 9, and then we have that common factor of 2. What do we have left? 1 times 1 times 3 in the numerator over 1 times 8 times 1 in the denominator. We have 3 eighths. That is that original expression evaluated.